in this class we will see the problems based on the zeta transform and also we will find the zeta transform of some basic signals in the last class we have seen the basics of zeta transform and also our oc basics and the first question is find the zeta transform of the discrete impulse del n solution we know that is a transform formula x of z is equal to summation n minus infinite to plus infinite x of n z power minus n here in this problem x of n the signal is del n okay, then x of yes x of z is equal to summation n minus infinite to plus infinite del n z power minus n so once if you expand this summation series okay, beginning del of minus 1 is at power 1 del of 0 is at power 0 del 1 is at power minus 1 and the series goes like this and we know that all these values are zero because del of minus 1 is zero and del 1 is zero we know that del 0 is 1 a okay, discrete impulse you know that discrete impulse means it will be having value 1 when n is equal to 0 or otherwise the value is 0 so now the del 0 value is 1 again z power 0 is 1 so finally the answer is 1 okay so the z transform of the discrete impulse is 1 z transform of the discrete impulse is 1 so now what is the roc for this okay see ultimately we got the z transform x of yes okay again here the x of yes is z directly we are getting one without any restriction here okay we did not put any restriction here for uh, getting this one since so simply we have applied in the formula finally we are getting this so the uh, region of convergence for this is the entire z plane okay so roc is entire z plane entire z plane why because the expression itself is not having any z so that's why the roc is entire z plane okay in future uh, we may be having some restrictions for z so that time we will be getting some value for z mod z may be greater than some value or it may be less than some value and already we know that uh, whenever the signal given signal is a finite duration signal definitely the roc is entire z plane this concept we have already seen it in the uh, laplace transform okay if the given signal is finite duration signal the roc is entire z plane as the impulse is having a present only at n equal to 0 this is a finite duration signal so the roc is entire z plane next question find the z transform of the unit step function find the z transform of unit step function that means discrete discrete step function so signal x of n is equal to u of n step function x of z is equal to summation n minus infinite to plus infinite x of n is at power minus n and we know that uh, u of n means it will be having value 1 okay u of n is having value 1 when n is greater than or equal to 0 0 when n is less than 0 so uh, so that means what x of n is having value 0 when n is negative so that's why we can start the summation series from n is equal to 0 so from n is equal to 0 to infinite again uh, this x of n value is always 1 so is at power minus n okay, once uh, if you expand this series okay we, Uh, just put n value here we will be getting uh, when n is 0 this is 1 again is at power minus 1 is at power minus 2 is at minus 3 it goes like this and we know that whenever the summation series is going like this uh, we can write uh, like this 1 by 1 minus is at inverse okay this is true only when this uh, is it inverse value is less than 1 is it inverse value is less than 1 already we have seen it this formula that in summation n 0 to infinite a power n is equal to 1 by 1 minus a only when the 
a value a magnitude of a is less than 1 so that means what this series summation series is converging okay it will be uh, converging and it will give you some answer only when this value is at power minus 1 is at power minus 1 is uh, less than 1 so this is valid only when z power minus 1 is less than 1 okay that here uh, we can write like this summation n 0 to infinite z power minus 1 whole power n so here z power minus 1 means it's like a okay so uh, when mod z power minus 1 is less than 1 that means what finally uh, x of z is equal to 1 by 1 minus z inverse okay only when z inverse is z inverse value is less than 1 okay what is z inverse that means 1 by z mod z is less than 1 that means mod z is greater than 1 mod z is greater than 1 and also we can also write like 1 by 1 minus z inverse or otherwise 1 by 1 minus um, 1 by z then z by Z minus one. Okay, so finally, the answer is x of z is equal to either we can write like z by z minus one, or one by one minus z inverse. Okay, what is the ROC here? ROC is mod z greater than one, and we know that the given signal is the right-sided signal. Okay, for the right-sided signal, the ROC will be outside the circle okay what is mod z is equal to 1 mod z equal to mod z is equal to 1 is the unit circle with the radius 1 so then roc is outside the unit circle roc is outside the unit circle this is the radius with radius 1 mod z is equal to 1 so roc is outside the unit circle so next question find is a transform of x of n is equal to a power n u n a power n u n function x of z is equal to summation n minus infinity to plus infinite x of n z power minus n summation again x of n is valid only when n is greater than or equal to 0 so summation goes from n is equal to 0 to infinite a power n again the value of u n is always 1 when n is greater than or equal to 0 so it's always 1 then z power minus n so summation n 0 to infinite uh, this one we can write like a z inverse whole power n again i can apply this formula summation n 0 to infinite a power n is equal to 1 by 1 minus a when mod a is less than 1 so that means i can write like 1 by 1 minus a z inverse okay see once if you expand this series you will be getting Finally, one by one minus a z inverse, but this is true only when the a z inverse value, a z inverse value is less than one. Okay, under this condition only we uh, we can get this uh, final expression that is one by one minus a z inverse. Then x of z is equal to one by one minus a z inverse under the condition a z inverse less than one. Okay, a is the inverse less than one. So that means what a by mod is at less than one. That means mod is at greater than mod a. Mod is at greater than mod a. Again, here one by one minus a by is at then is at by is at minus a. So finally, the Fourier transform is is at by is at minus a. Or one by one minus a z inverse, and then ROC 
uh, rho c is outside the circle with the radius mod a. Okay, what is the rho c? You draw a circle with the radius a, then the region outside the circle is rho c. Next question. Find is a transform of x of n is equal to minus a power n u of minus n minus 1. x of z is equal to summation n minus infinite to plus infinite x of n z power minus n again uh, this is a unit step function that is going towards um, left side that means n index value is negative okay. okay what is u of minus n minus 1 that means you will be having samples from minus 1 minus 2 then it goes up to minus infinite Okay, that is the value of u of minus n minus 1. So then the time index starts from minus 1 and it goes to minus infinite. Then what is the value of x of n that is minus a power n and then this value is always 1. Okay, the sample value is always 1. 1 is at power minus n. Again this minus we can take outside summation n minus 1 to minus infinite okay uh, a is at inverse whole power n a is at inverse whole power n then the time index uh, negative time index will change it to positive time index minus again n goes from 1 to infinite that means what wherever n is there put minus n then a is at inverse minus n the minus present here i will absorb inside so that we'll be getting summation n 1 to infinite a inverse z whole power n a inverse z whole power n so finally minus summation n 1 to infinite a inverse a inverse z whole power n in general, when we apply the summation series, actually the n will start from 0, but it is starting from 1. Directly also, we can apply formula. Already formulas are there like a into uh, 1 minus r power n divided by 1 minus r formula. Okay, You, you can also apply this formula. Finally, you can get the answer or otherwise uh, we can do like this also. I mean, you just start from n is equal to 0. Okay, if n is equal to 0 is present, what you will be getting? Okay, n 0 will be substituting here, then anything power 0 is 1, you will be getting 1, 1 extra. So that extra 1 I will subtract from here. Okay, so now we can write like this. Okay, the so same thing we can modify like this. Then summation, sorry, minus. Then what is the value of this? Summation n 0 to infinite, a inverse z whole power n. That means 1 by 1 minus a z inverse minus 1 and minus 1 minus 1 plus a z inverse 1 minus a z inverse okay again this is true under the condition the i think we are making a mistake a inverse z a inverse z, a inverse z, again, yes, we have written it wrongly here. Okay, so, minus, that means 1 by 1 minus a inverse z, a inverse z, then minus 1, minus 1 minus 1 plus a inverse z, divided by 1 minus a inverse z okay uh, this is true only when a inverse z value is 
less than one, less than one. So again, one one cancel uh, minus a inverse z, a inverse z divided by one minus a inverse z. Okay. Then a inverse z, a inverse z mod uh, that ROC will discuss later. Now, what we can do from this just uh, divide both numerator and denominator with the a inverse z. So this will become like one by a inverse z minus one, then minus a z inverse minus one that means finally one by one minus a z inverse okay uh, again uh, if you expand again if you modify this that will become like one by one minus a by z that is z divided by z minus a then what about the roc a in uh, uh, roc is mod a inverse z is less than one okay so z by a mod less than one that means mod z value is less than mod a okay so roc here is roc here is mod z value is less than mod a okay, so finally the x of z answer either we can write like this or like this both are same then ROC, but the ROC is less than mod A. Okay, so now if you observe here, the given signal is a left sided signal, non causal signal, anti causal signal. Then if it is a left sided, then ROC will be definitely inside the circle. ROC will be definitely inside the circle. So draw a circle with the radius A. Okay, then suppose this is the circle with radius A then ROC is inside the circle. ROC is inside the circle. Okay. Finally, what is the conclusion from this? Okay. See, we have started with the basic signal that is impulse. Okay. For a basic signal impulse, the Z transform is one. Okay. Then uh, we took step function. Okay. We got one by one minus A Z inverse. Then we took uh, A power N So for the step function, the z transform is one by one minus z inverse. For a signal a power in u n is z transform is one by one minus a z inverse. Here R is mod z greater than one. Here mod z greater than mod a. Now if you simply observe here, suppose if I put a is equal to one, okay, actually we'll be going to this condition. Okay, if you put a is equal to one, what will happen? One power n is one always. Again, u of n. Okay, then one by a value is one, that means z inverse. Again, a value is one, that means mod z greater than one. So, just once, if you know the z transform for this one, again, you can easily find out what is the z transform for u of n very easily. That means what, suppose if some other number is there directly, suppose if it is b power n, directly I can put that b here. Okay, so that is a simple idea here. But then, next. Uh, uh, we took this uh, function that means causal signal right sided signal and next we took the uh, left sided signal okay but if you see the answer is same for both the signal okay if you compare the z transform here also z by z minus a again here also z by z minus a so for a two different signal we are getting same z transform but the roc will be different okay so just we'll compare that Suppose if the signal is a power n u n, the z transform is one by one minus a z inverse, or z by z minus a. Okay, but the ROC is mod z. ROC is mod z greater than mod a. Or otherwise, suppose if the signal is minus a power n u of minus n minus one. Again, the answer is same. That is one by one minus a z inverse, or z by z minus a. 
but the ROC is different here mod Z is less than mod A. Okay. Again, the same similarity we have already seen it in the Laplace transform. Okay. Just uh, we are, same thing we are getting here even in the Z transform. Okay. So in future, suppose if instead of A, if they are giving some other number directly, I can put that here. Here that A is the poles of the transfer function. See, suppose if we take this as a transfer function, then what is the poles of the transfer function that is Z equal to A. Okay, so again here also is it equal to A. So in future, uh, whenever you find out this format, okay, directly we can write this answer. Or sometimes you may be getting like this, A power N, U of minus N minus one. Then also what we can do, simply I can take that minus here, so I can put minus one by one minus A Z inverse, or uh, minus Z divided by Z minus A. Again, uh, there will not be any change in the ROC. Okay, just that minus sign will not make any difference in the ROC. Again, the ROC will be same. Mod is less than mod A. Okay, so, again, in future, uh, you may be getting a condition like this. Say, for example, suppose if you are having A power minus N, U of minus N minus 1, then what to do? Okay, again, everything is same except this minus sign. So that means I can compare this with this. So what I can do, I can do minus A, I can write like one by A, A inverse, I can write like one by A, then N, U of minus N minus one, then directly I can write like one by one minus, then what is the poles here? The poles here is one by A. So directly I will write that poles, okay, instead of A, that is one by A, then Z inverse, Okay, R Z by Z minus one by A, but definitely there will be a change in ROC. Okay, ROC again there will be some change in ROC according to that ROC. There will be change in ROC. Change in ROC. So we'll be getting this kind of condition when we solve the further problems. Okay, so just uh, try to understand these two concept clearly. Okay. Okay. Uh, two different signal. This is the causal signal. This is the anti-causal signal. Answer is same. Is a transform is same, but the ROC is different. Okay. Thank you.